Hi, this is Daniela from SD1 Tag Team. Today, I want to show you the process of how to upgrade CH devices via CLI. Make sure to have the .bin file uploaded into the boot flash and to meet the SD1 controller compatibility metrics. To verify the image is present and has been uploaded correctly to the local storage, you can use the dir boot flash command to see the boot flash content. First, install the new image into the router. To do so, identify the correct path and name and use it at the end of the command request platform software SD1 software install. It is important to mention that this command does not reload the router. Please note that the router uncompresses and installs the version. You cannot access the CLI for a few seconds. Wait until you see the prompt again. To validate that the new software appears in the router, run the command show sd1 software. Note that active and default values show as false, which means the new image is on the device ready to be activated. Another place to verify the installation is a success, you can see the boot flash. Note that you can no longer see the bin file, but you can see the packages files. The next step is to activate the image. Use the command request platform software sd1 software activate and introduce the version in dot decimal notation. After the command is executed, the ch device starts a reload process. In this case, the version used is 17.6.4. The release number can be taken from the output show sd1 software command. At this point, you notice that the router reload is in process. Once the router completes the reload process, it boots with the new version. Now you need to set the new software as the default to ensure the new version is preserved. It is important to mention that a default version cannot be removed from the router. To set the version as default, use the command request platform software is the one software set default and add the version in dot decimal notation. Finally, execute the command request platform software sd1 software upgrade confirm. Once the process has been completed, you can verify the new version is now active by use of the command show version pipe include iOS. and command show sd1 software to confirm the version is now active. The parameters active and default show now as true and the confirm parameter shows a user value. You have now successfully upgraded a CH device via CLI. Thank you for the time you took to watch this video.